Hello everybody, uh, I'm really excited to do this study of uh, Phuket, Thailand. Um, it uh, was actually uh, not a place I originally heard of, um, but actually it's one of the most important tourist uh, locations around the world, um, probably second to Bali, uh, Indonesia. So uh, Bali is a lot bigger, uh, many times larger island, um, and actually uh, it's just a few miles across, uh, but it's basically located right over here uh, near that red dot. Uh, actually, Phuket has a very similar climate to Bali. Um, Bali is located down here, um, but Phuket is located over here. So if you're not familiar with Thailand, uh, Thailand is basically Bangkok uh, is located up here. Um, and it has a climate very similar to Florida. Um, and actually, uh, it's pretty wet, uh, about as wet as Miami. However, there's one major difference uh, between uh these areas, uh, particularly in Southeast Asia and places like Miami. Miami is very flat, but here, uh, like in Bali and Phuket, uh, you have mountains, uh, hills, uh, and volcanoes uh, that make it very, very beautiful. Uh, one of the most beautiful places on the planet. So let's jump in and look directly at Phuket Island. Um, so basically, as you can see, it's a pretty large island. Uh, you can see this is two miles, uh, is about an inch or so, so that's two miles here. Uh, you can say uh, that's about uh, five miles, 10 or 15 miles across. The only little bit tricky th situation is that the uh, Phuket Airport uh, is located here on this side of the island, uh, and then the main beaches are actually located on the west side of the island over here. Um, so the actual town uh, is called Old Town Phuket, and that's actually located over here, but there's not a whole lot of beaches. So most of the beaches are actually located on the west side of the island. So let's zoom out so you can basically see where we're located. Um, you can see there's kind of like a bay in here. Um, it's very, very beautiful. Uh, there's uh, Fung Nung Bay back here. Uh, and then there's also something called uh, the Andaman Sea back in here and the PP Islands uh, that are very beautiful. Um, but there's also a whole nother area uh, just north of here uh, called uh, Kau Kau Sak National Park, um, which is an unbelievable area. Uh, you can see this is the outline here. And it's got some unbelievable uh, islands and some places uh, that are unbelievable. But let's just zoom out so you can see where we're located. Um, so this is Phuket. I'm going to turn it uh, like this so you can see the globe as it would normally be. Uh, and we're going to see India here. So you basically see India uh, and you basically see Malaysia, Singapore. Uh, Vietnam and some other areas but basically Phuket is this little island right there um, there's a bunch of other islands uh, off of Myanmar uh, but one of the problems is that uh, basically the safety factor uh, and the cost of getting there uh, with an internet major international airport so on this map you can see the climate here and then that's the basically that little uh, corner piece is basically Phuket. I'm going to turn off uh, the uh, climate uh, so you can see basically where it is. So as we zoom in here, you can start to see um, we're actually on the western edge of Southeast Asia and perhaps the start of most of Southeast Asia. So um, right here is basically India, right? Sri Lanka, uh, Myanmar, uh, and Vietnam, Laos, and Cambodia. Uh, but basically Thailand is right in here. Um, and then you can start to see we're zooming in on Phuket here. So let me zoom out a little bit so you can see. So this is Malaysia. Uh, some of the most cheapest flights typically in and out of Phuket uh, and many other places are into Kuala Lumpur. So you may want to actually study Kuala Lumpur. Uh, and Malaysia, uh, just because of its close proximity um, uh, to uh, what's going on here. Uh, but basically, this is Phuket Island, uh, and you can start to see uh, it on the details here as it loads in. So basically, this is, uh, it says about 200 miles on this, but that's not exactly correct. Okay, so the actual mileage is located right here. That's about 20 miles or so across the island. Uh, and you can see, I'm going to actually rotate it so you can see uh, where we are uh, on the long edge here. And then I'll basically zoom out into this like this. So interestingly enough, there isn't a whole lot of places with uh, major beach uh, 
we're located just a few miles uh, from an international, a major international airport. Um, so as we zoom in here on Phuket, uh, you can start to see. Um, and we're actually getting pretty cheap flights uh, from Bangkok to Phuket. Um, it is only uh, maybe about 100 miles, um, but the flights can be uh, less than $30 um, to just fly from Phuket to Bangkok or, or even down to uh, Kuala Lumpur. But uh, I'll zoom in here so you can kind of see. Um, but the thing that makes it really unbelievably beautiful um, basically is the mountain areas and the volcanoes uh, in the area. That make Phuket really unbelievable uh, location uh, but as we zoom in here you can start to see um, some of the details um, now I was kind of surprised there's not a whole lot of beaches along uh, this is the west side and this is the east side of the island um, so basically most of the beaches are actually located right along here um, and you can see um, basically uh, some of the details as we zoom in here so one thing I'd remind you is getting to and from the airport, uh, it can take a few hours uh, and maybe even three or four hours uh, to get across the entire island uh, on a bus uh, or on taking a taxi or uh, some other form of transport. Uh, so it's very important to realize that it is very slow traffic on this island. So as you think about traveling around Southeast Asia, uh, Phuket is a very central uh, main uh, location like Bali. Um, so a lot of people will fly in and out of Phuket uh, and then to and from Bali and some other areas. Uh, but basically uh, there isn't a whole, there, there, there is a lot of different beaches, but uh, not too many with international airports. So let's look at some of the prices to and from Phuket Island. These are all one-way tickets. Um, but basically you can see uh, most of the places in India are basically around 150 to $200, including uh, Sri Lanka, to get to Phuket for one-way travel. Um, it gets very cheap uh, when you look at most of the other places in, in Southeast Asia. You can see uh, about $60, uh, and, but most of these tickets you have to arrange at least one week or two weeks in advance to get some of these prices. Um, like you're seeing on this um, and you can see here Bangkok is only $18 by flight uh, Singapore $33 and Bali about a hundred dollars uh, right there. So um, and then some of these other spots so it can be quite cheap uh, to get uh, in and out of Phuket However, one problem is that uh, you don't have a lot of beaches uh, in some of these major cities uh, that you can just go to Bangkok really doesn't have a beach Singapore doesn't have a beach uh, Jakarta kind of has a beach, but it's really populated, uh, very highly densely populated, and Manila really has no beach as well. Uh, Hong Kong doesn't really have a beach. Hanoi doesn't really have a beach. So it really means that there's only a few other alternatives like Bali and, and Da Nang, Vietnam, uh, that have really nice beaches uh, that you can fly to uh, right away uh, from these locations. Now I just wanted to show you the Bali prices. So if you're gonna do like the following day, you can spend upwards of $300 for that flight. Um, but if you're willing to wait about uh, two weeks, uh, you can get a $100 flight uh, to and from Bali. So basically uh, that could really save you some money. Um, and then I also wanted to do Da Nang, Vietnam. You can see uh, basically the same thing. It is actually even cheaper to Vietnam. Uh, than it is to Bali. So you basically end up spending about $100 uh, to get a next week flight, um, and then it's slightly less than $100 uh, if it's two weeks. However, the absolute cheapest flights are basically to and from Bangkok, uh, but you're basically talking about the same country there. Um, so the next cheapest is probably around Singapore or uh, Kuala Lumpur. As you can see, they have about 72 flights a week in Singapore and Kuala Lumpur. Um, so you may actually have Shanghai flights that are pretty cheap here, uh, Hong Kong flights that are fairly cheap, uh, Guangzhou and Doha, Qatar. So basically some of these other ones uh, can be pretty affordable, but if you're talking about staying for only 30 days in Thailand uh, and you wanna to go to somewhere else, uh, it may be kind of difficult, uh, but you may have to fly through Singapore or Kuala Lumpur. Now I wanted to show this map because it shows you where the major airports are. All the red ones are major airports. 
Uh, so you can see that there isn't a whole lot of major airports here. You have Kuala Lumpur, and even Singapore is not highlighted on this for some reason. I don't know why. Uh, Bali is here highlighted. Jakarta, uh, Sulawesi Island has one uh, major airport down here, uh, and then there's a few airports, major airports, on uh, the Philippines. So. Uh, basically, the uh, other airports are in uh, these orange dots, and there are airports there. Here's Da Nang, uh, Vietnam, um, and you can see that there's basically are some options, but there isn't a whole lot of major airport options uh, other than Phuket here and uh, Bali. So let's take a look at that Phuket International Airport. You can see here it is on the north side of the island. Uh, and there's basically a bridge that goes on to mainland Thailand, but basically Phuket Island is its own little island. Uh, and when you land in the airport, uh, you'll be landing on that runway there. Uh, and then here is the main terminal. Uh, and then, then the bus that goes into, uh, you know, me, all the beaches is right over here. So you'd have to uh, basically walk over here to the bus stop. And the bus stop is basically this terminal, I believe, right in here. Uh, that you can take and you can even see a few buses right over there so i think there's a bus stop and it shows bus here so uh for being one of the most important tourist track attractions on the planet you might be surprised there is quite a number of beaches but basically um there is a patong beach uh, and Karan Beach, those are the two main ones, uh, and then there's the other ones, but there isn't a whole lot of uh, places to stay at. Um, so basically it makes it pretty difficult um, relative to how many travelers they have. So you can see some of these numbers. Uh, they basically get 14 million tourists or 10 million foreigners uh, visit Phuket uh, every year. So that's basically about a million tourists uh, per month, uh, so 800,000. So that's quite a lot of tourists uh, to think about. Uh, I was absolutely surprised at some of these numbers. Uh, and in fact, uh, Bali here gets a total of about the same. Uh, and you can see, uh, it's just uh, amazing. So Bali is a way bigger island, uh, and actually Phuket gets uh, about the same. So it's basically, you know, 10 times smaller island. Uh, Phuket. So when you're comparing Bali, um, the interesting thing is that actually Phuket has a lot more diversity in the mountains and the hills. Uh, and Densepar here is quite flat uh, relative to Phuket um, Island. Uh, and actually, a lot of people don't really check out the rest of Bali. Uh, most people just check out right here. Um, and it is pretty close. The airport is right like here, uh, Densepar Airport. Uh, and most of the beaches here are along the west side uh, as well of the island. Uh, so if I zoom in here, you can start to see uh, some of the details. Uh, and basically it is quite different uh, and perhaps a lot more hilly. Um, and whereas Bali has one major beach that basically runs uh, many miles here, uh, Phuket has kind of separation between the beaches uh, because of the hills. The other interesting thing is that you may not even see the water very much if you're staying in this bar, uh, which a lot of people stay in. Uh, people uh, basically don't even get make it over to the beach too much. So you have to be staying right over here uh, in Bali as well. So basically I made a tourist plan uh, for the island, uh, basically checking out uh, a few of the places. And you can see it takes quite a little uh, trip just to get over. It says just a few miles, maybe 10 miles. Uh, to get uh, over the beach uh, from the airport. Uh, but again, uh, you can see that this route did take 3.9, three hours or even four hours to do this whole route, even though it shows maybe, um, I don't know how many miles this is, uh, about 100 kilometers. So you notice, uh, basically I went from this airport here to Patong Beach, uh, which is right over here. So this to here uh, is actually uh, the first location that, that you might want to stop at. And again, uh, at the airport, this is the route. It takes uh, basically 100 baht, uh, and it's uh, basically 30 to 1. Uh, so basically, that's about $3, $4 uh, to get uh, on the bus. Um, but it can be upwards of $30. Uh, or more uh, to get uh, taxi service uh, just over to Patong. But this shows you an example of how to take the bus. So here's a picture of Patong Beach. Uh, I'm just gonna zoom out so you can see uh, basically where we are 
again and then I'm gonna zoom back in. So here's the major airport uh, and this is Patong Beach and this is basically uh, the style of the town uh, that you'll see. Uh, and you can see there's basically some pretty big hills uh, right along the edges here uh, and then the beach uh, being about a couple miles uh, across uh, from here to here. So again, here is the airport and, and then here is Patong Beach. The other major beach that you might wanna check out is Karan Beach. And the reason I'm suggesting these two over many of these other beaches is because at least there are a lot of different hotels. Um, and then Patong basically has most of the smaller hotels that you can uh, find more affordable lodging as well as Karan, but it's maybe even more difficult uh, to find a hotel on Karan Beach. So you may wanna start by finding something uh, where there's more hotels like in Patong. Now you can see it's just very different. Um, it actually gets uh, pretty busy along this road right here, Karan Beach, and you can see all the little, uh, it, it gets less and less populated as you get further down the beach here. Uh, and this is about 200 feet uh, or so. So basically it's about a couple miles, uh, or uh, sorry, about a mile or so across this whole beach here. Um, so there isn't a whole lot of options, but you can see right in here is where you basically would probably stay uh, if you're staying on Karan Beach. And the nice thing is you got the big Buddha of Phuket uh, right up on this hill, but you actually have to head all the way around the mountain uh, to get up to the road that actually goes on this side. There's no road that goes up the mountain from this side. So I just want to look briefly at the currency. So you're basically getting about 35 to one. So uh, it actually is 37 at this current time, but so you could basically say 40 to 30 uh, Thai baht uh, for $1. And you can see this goes all the way back to 2000. So that's 20 years. It's basically been fairly stable around 35 to one. Here's a little map in case you're interested in checking out other places outside of just Patong Beach. You can see Patong is right here, and then here's Phuket, uh, Old Town. But most people would probably stay uh, right in Patong. Again, here's another satellite image, and you can see Patong and Karan Beach being the two major beaches here. So I asked the Chad GPT what the typical low cost is, and it's basically $20 to $50 per night, uh, and it really can fluctuate during uh, the busy season or not. Busy season is basically between November and April, uh, and particularly busy uh, between December and February. So basically Christmas time being the most busiest time for Phuket. Now I did try to just run through a one month stay, uh, and that was basically 30,000 baht. Uh, if you do the currency conversion, that's about $800 uh, for one month uh, rent at one of these hotels. Uh, and I just wanted to see what that was. So what does it look like on Patong Beach? Um, here you can kind of see uh, they got a number of trees right along the walkway here. Um, and it's a very busy street. Uh, and you can see Patong, Phuket, Thailand. Um, they have like a police station over here. Um, and this is the main walking district uh, right over here. Uh, and then this is called uh, the main street, the Phuket, Thailand, Patong Beach walking street. And then they have this down here that you can walk uh, at the nighttime, it becomes very, very busy. Uh, and as I said, uh, they have uh, basically, I can't believe it, uh, but up, upwards of 800,000 tourists per month. So unbelievably, there might be more people visiting Phuket than there is Bali. 
So this mean walking street is right over here. We were looking at that sign or it said uh, Patong Beach. Um, it's basically right here. Uh, this is the police station here, tourist police. Uh, and then this is this road basically goes right along all the waterfront uh, and beach area and they have shops uh, pretty much all on the waterfront. So we were just looking at Patong Beach that was located right along here. Uh, and we basically looked uh, right at, along these this major road right here uh, and these roads right over here. Uh, so what I would highly recommend uh, is taking a careful look uh, at the beachfront. So you can basically see where the major beach area is based on all the chairs. So right along the beach here, you'll see a bunch of chairs here, a bunch of chairs here and a bunch of chairs here and then some not so busy places right along here um, so you may actually like uh, a not so busy place or a busy place uh, and then these walking streets um, basically this is the Patong Beach walking street that we looked at right here there's a bus stop that was the main street uh, that we looked at um, there but there are some other options uh, further down you can see there's another walking street here uh, and then perhaps a walking street back in here um, and then another very busy road that basically heads around the island uh, right at the start of Patong Beach, but there's not a whole lot of chairs. There's like a couple chairs there. Uh, so what you can do is you can zoom in and then it will actually change you over to Street View. Uh, if you go to Street View, you can see uh, where there is Street View shots. Uh, and it looks like there's a shot right there. So I can just go in here and see what that beachfront area looks like. Um, and it's pretty nice just to see a lot of little shops that you can buy food from uh, right on the beach. And then if you zoom out, you can just go back to the regular view and see where you are on the beach of Putong. So one of the major differences is that you have these uh, kind of cliffy areas uh, right along the beach here that might be really fun to check out as well. Um, but that could be uh, basically about a couple mile walk um, to get out to those peninsulas. So as you can see, uh, there is actually uh, quite a number of different places uh, here uh, and it's pretty uh, densely populated. So you may have to actually go in here and uh, zoom in per street to see uh, what's going on uh, before you get there. So you can see that uh, Karan Beach, which is just the next beach over, um, basically only has this one major area, this road that basically heads up into the hills. Um, up into the Fugit jungle, I guess. Um, and there's like a circle, a circular roundabout, and then the beachfront here, and you can see uh, most of the beach area is right in here. Uh, and then it basically turns into uh, some uh, urban housing. And there's a couple places to stay at here, but there's not a whole lot. Uh, you can see there's kind of a place over here where you can stay. Uh, but definitely much quieter uh, than uh, puts on. So I'm just going to zoom in so you can see uh, some of the prices on the hotels here uh, and where some of those hotels might be. So this beach is Patong and the next beach is Karan Beach and then I'm going to zoom in over here and you can basically see uh, there's quite a big difference uh, and there actually are some hotels back on this side. Um, but it's not as nice maybe as being close right to the uh, places where you can go get some food really quick and also get access to the beach uh, as if you got a hotel over in this area. And sorry about this, it doesn't really load super fast. So I just wanted to show you how this all works. Uh, so there's a little roundabout here and this is the main beach area uh, right in Karan Beach. Um, but if you zoom out, uh, if you scroll out, it will actually bring you right back uh, to the map and you can see that's the circular area. Uh, it is kind of fun to zoom in and see uh, what these different roads look like. So what I did is I looked at this road here, looks like a pretty major road. Uh, and you can zoom in right on this and then it will take you to that road. Uh, and then you can see uh, what the busy streets look like uh, and what it might feel like to be actually right there in Karan Beach. Uh, on one of the major places. It looks like they have a place to sleep here, $27 per 
summer night. Um, that's probably a pretty good place to stay at. Um, and some others as you get further back up into the hill. So what I did on the map is I mainly focused on starting here uh, at the circular roundabout area uh, so you can see uh, what the beachfront area would be like. But going back to Patong Beach, uh, you can see it's just a lot busier uh, over here. This is one of the other major streets uh, in the area. Here's another street uh, for Patong. You can see a uh, uh, police station being very busy, uh, probably people that are wanting to extend their visas. So it's very complicated because you should probably only stay about 30 days. Otherwise, you're going to be in a big line uh, trying to extend your visa. Uh, here's more uh, Patong place and you see Pearl Beach Resort uh, and you can kind of see what the beachfront looks like. Here's a street scene uh, from Karan Beach. You can see uh, basically a, kind of a different feel uh, slightly. A little cafe you got and some other things. Another Karan Beach scene. You can see what the front of the beach looks like and you can see this is further down on the beach so you can let me zoom out so you can see where this is at. Basically, this is uh, this side of the beach. This was the main street here. So if you're looking back at the beach here, we basically have this main area, whereas kind of uh, Patong is over here, right? Kind of busy almost everywhere. Um, but here uh, wasn't as busy. And I basically just zoomed in right over in this area. So you can see right? this is some of the houses. So you can't really stay at some of these places. Some of that is houses, and this is some of the beachfront, so it looks a little bit more chill uh, than Patong. Uh, the other thing I did that was kind of interesting uh, is look at the pathway uh, from uh, Google Maps. So what you can do is you can do your whole route and then zoom in on certain parts of the route to see what it looks like uh, from street view. Here's another Karan Beach uh, street scene. You can see it looks pretty nice. Uh, right on the beach front here. So last I wanted to show you uh, what this Buddha scene looked like. Uh, I had a little Buddha scene here. This is the big Buddha, so if you take a street view, you can actually go up onto street view and see what the big Buddha looks like uh, on street view. Uh, and they got a number of shops up here. It looks like some places to eat um, and hang out as well. The other interesting thing is they got some temples there. Uh, these are not located near the beach. Uh, it looked like they built these quite after, um, but they're very impressive uh, Thai uh, Buddhist temples. Uh, and I definitely recommend trying to check out some of these as well. And then last, um, I wanted to mention that there are some islands, uh, PP islands, uh, as well as this whole bay here. Uh, you can get tours um, and most of these tours, if you wanted to go to the PP islands, for instance, could be about $50 uh, per person per day. Uh, to do that uh, and then this uh, the James Bond Island uh, you can see for about $70 uh, for the whole day uh, and they do have kind of a, a list of what they do here looks like they pick you up uh, in downtown Phuket uh, and then they uh, drop you off and take you to a number of different piers and do some pretty fun things but two other things I'd really highly recommend uh, is checking out this national park as well as the monkey cave up in here and so that's the tour of Phuket Island. Um, it really is one of the most amazing islands in the world. Um, and uh, basically, it's unbelievable to think about it. But Patong Beach and Karan Beach are two of the uh, major beaches on that whole island. Um, but there is a number of fun things to do checking out um, the whole entire island as well as checking out the bay. And you can see uh, it's only a few miles out here to the ocean front, um, so you can take a tour uh, to see some of these islands, and they can be very amazing islands uh, to check out. I would almost say that uh, if you are gonna go to Phuket, it is definitely worth uh, adding on to your trip uh, to check out these. These are some of the most amazing cliffs uh, in the world. Perhaps the only other cliffs that are as amazing as these that I've seen is in Hao Long Bay, uh, and that's in Vietnam. So again, uh, you're basically flying in and out of Phuket, Thailand right here. Um, there are a number of other places to check out. 
uh, definitely Bali is one place to check out, Da Nang, Vietnam, and some whole bunch of other places all in Southeast Asia. But these are some of the safer places that are more touristy, um, that actually have a lot of facilities and hotels uh, that you can check out. And again, here's the climate map. So you can see uh, it's about like Miami or Florida temperature. So 80, 80 degrees can be quite common or 90 degrees. Uh, even in very hot weather uh, and there's definitely a uh, rainy season that you need to be aware of so let me know uh, if you are going to Phuket I'd be glad to try to team up with you get to know you and see what kind of plan you'd like to do uh, to explore the island uh, I'm trying to go here uh, and visit myself uh, I hope you really enjoyed this study thank you so much